following is called Walking Into Tomorrow. It's from my album, Two Men With Gold. It's track number one. I'll be doing this a cappella. Excuse me for the mistakes and errors, but I'm human, okay? And I'm tired. So. Felt to the tip as I write with this felt tip, but ideas fly like gunshots, ain't blinded from the hip, leaves relief from the pain, lack of control brings ironic, I hallucinate to forget about my dreams, see, I was never happy and I smell like haze, I've been working in the city for three straight damn days in the capital, a capital, ran by wage, so if I run you for them J's, my bills got paid, tried to have faith, but instead I smoke spliffs, cause walking with God is like catching buses on 125th, either I'm always out of time or always out of funds, pointless, I get home before he ever really comes, what's worse, my benchmarks are are outdated and valid. Me, common sense, the rest of them, Ross or Caleb. But my respect for them is candy, I just call it how I see it. Ignore it or defeat it. Neglect that you will be it, for example. Realize that what we consider riches was never really wealth, and what we were taught to be was never oneself. Like Monte Carlos, all them southern boys seem to die to have to a rich man's scrap metal. What of many cabs, so what's the point? Mind for gold and discover what you lack. Only to find it all just to die before you make it back. A further climb, the longer we dig in this grind. Just please don't neglect life when it's out of sight and out of mind. How am I supposed to overcome this madness? Most of the top were born within a life that was lavish, and the rest stand our lives to be expelled, man, quick like old men in bathrooms who finally take a piss. But if you really want to traverse this land of verse, realize you might have to put down all you consider first. Money, love, happiness becomes an ideal that you are stuck with not having unless you're the very best at this rapping. And you better have a lot of shit to sell, kid, like Fiverr. Better always get it out of function, MacGyver. But don't fuck around and have another nigga get awarded for your genius, Mr. West via Bon Iver. Not a diss, a cruel reality. The, ton the cunning man can turn any great into casualty. Casual leaks cause fatality, like having a chauffeur create road kill out of a man career. So I'm stuck being a her hermit rapper for I think the rest of my days to the world grants me 100k. So if I free fall and decide to land on my face, I know I know one of only many goddamn pillows awaits whether in my APT or on my NPC and my man who lives by crashing on pads. Alas, lasting in remnants like seasons past, but I mirror the old ones. I come slowly. Never rash. Meanwhile, this black hawk down for the souls of black folk. Lock down the lockout. Noose the diamond rope. Preachers preach negligence, but ties move like steel waters. And who will speak with sins? Who will speak of sin with souls are all we have to bother. But we cannot let this shit unfold. We must all grasp it all. That's what we were told. We can all leap together. So here we go. And if we fall into pieces, I will mend us with gold. I repeat, we cannot let this shit unfold we must all grasp it all that's what we were told we can all leap together so here we go and if we fall into pieces i will mend us with gold i repeat we cannot let this shit unfold we must all grasp it all that's what we were told we can all leap together so here we go and if we fall into pieces i will mend us with gold i repeat we cannot let this shit unfold we must all grasp it all that's what we were told we can all leap together so here we go, and if we fall into pieces, I will mend us with gold. Now, before I begin, I would like to say thank all of you. You know, before I begin my little speech about life and, you know, the reason behind this album, I just want to say thank every last one of y'all because I made it. Y'all made it. We made it. It's another day. We're still alive, man. Like, understand how important it is like we're still alive you can download this and look at it and i can spit this and talk to you you know but on to the point of this video the point of this video is to say two things one i made this album in about a year and a half it took many sacrifices i lost friends i lost really another life because of the many revelations i gained from writing and getting the last seven years of my life recorded into a format that I can share with others and they can grow. So that's the first part. The second part is why I wrote to Men With Gold. And the reason why I made this album is because of this. We spend our entire lives chasing gold. Being a consumer. And because of this, our entire existence has been reduced down to global trade, 
advertising, a bunch of people telling us no and feeling inferior about what we do or don't have compared to the next person. Gold can be seen differently though. It can be seen as something, wealth actually, what I'm referring to. It can be seen differently. What if the entire world was willing to sacrifice every last dime they had? Every last dime, or everything extra, or every waking moment of their lives to make sure that someone else receives, that someone else had a nicer, easier life. What if? Is that so bad? Is that so hard, you know? The point of my album is the story of my life from 16 years old and making the decision to partake a mission that I didn't even know I had defined for myself until this very present moment when I realized and had the revelation that maybe, just maybe, what we should be chasing in life is right in front of us. And that the whole point of life is to value the little life you have. It's not about obtaining the sky. It's not about waking up every moment trying to beat the next man or trying to figure out how I'm gonna afford the new pair of J's or trying to figure out that, you know, maybe when my dividends come in, you know, next quarter that, you know, I'll, you know, turn around and make a huge profit so I could, you know, invest in a skyscraper or some shit. No, that shouldn't be our lives. But that has become our lives. Children are no longer being raised the same. People no longer talk to each other anymore. Social media has become the new society, more so than our own. And nowadays we spend the little last bit of our cognitive ability and money trying to buy a reality for ourselves. Why? That's the whole point of my album, is to show you how, just like how about what I'm about to say will shock all of you maybe, that what's really more valuable is what you already have. So, without further ado, I want to announce that the album is officially dropping August 1st, 2013, in 100 limited edition physical copies eco jackets thank you disc makers for all the help of making this possible and thank you all to my fans and loyal friends who donated helped provide words man even provide meals and you know a sense of security man even to the point one time excusing rent just so i could have the opportunity to make this and i think i thank all of you for that but I made the conclusion that this dream of New York, this life we dream of having, isn't worth what we think it is. And I discovered when I made my album that the reason why I wrote to men with gold is to confirm one thing, that what people told me wasn't so bad, that my home wasn't so bad, that the South isn't so bad, that we as a people, regardless of where we are, poverty, or wealth, or riches, it isn't so bad. It's about sacrificing and doing what you have to do to make sure that you have enough of you as a person, that you are grand enough or big enough as a human being outside of what you own to bring something back home, to bring something to the people you love and cherish and care about and to make your lives, their lives, enjoy it. Big, huge, loving, happy, free flowing, you know? That's the most important thing. And I found that. And I hope you find it. Bless.